welcome dear student today we will see about the study of meiosis in onion flower bud with the help of the permanent slides okay so here permanent slides are there of the different stages of the meiosis for the year of the 2020-21 due to the pandemic situation instead of the permanent slide you will get the the printed photograph of that particular stage you have to identify that stage and for that identification half mark is there and for the writing the what are the characteristics of that particular stage or comment on that stage half mark is there okay so this question is there for question number four for the identification okay now first we'll see about the main difference between the mitosis and meiosis what you learn in the 11th standard about the mitosis and about the meiosis so mitosis is what it is a equational division where the chromosome numbers remain same while the meiosis is a reduction division where the chromosome numbers which are reduces to half so that everything you learn in the 11th standard same way mitosis taking place in the body cell while the meiosis which takes place in the reproductive cell or in the germ cells so now we'll come for the detail about the meiosis so in the meiosis what we observe that the meiosis is just now i say it is takes place in the reproductive cell or in the germ cell in which from the single diploid cell we get the four haploid daughter cells okay so which are receiving the half number of the chromosomes in this meiosis there are two particular steps are there meiosis 1 and meiosis 2 okay in exam time how we'll get the photograph so with the help of the photograph i'll give the explanation of the same so about the meiosis 1 in the meiosis 1 there are the four phases are there prophase metaphase anaphase and telophase before that here each meiosis meiosis 1 and the meiosis 2 which shows the presence of the karyokinesis and the cytokinesis okay so karyokinesis means the division of the nucleus so in this karyokinesis we get the first one that is a prophase 1 So in meiosis one, there is a prophase one, metaphase one, anaphase one, and telophase one. In the prophase one, what we get here, there are the five stages are there. That is about what? That is first one. That is of the leptotin. So this is what the photograph is there about the leptotin. So like that photograph will be given to you in the exam time, and then by observing this photograph, you have to identify which stage it is. So in the exam time, you'll write it is a leptotin stage of prophase 1 of meiosis 1 so what you observe in this stage the chromosomes are there which appears like the long thin beaded thread like structures okay the nucleolus is present nuclear membrane is also present so this is about what about the leptotin next is there that is about the second one that is about the zygotin so like that here the photograph will be given you have to identify that so how will write here will write here it is a zygotin stage of the prophase 1 of meiosis 1 okay so what you observe in this zygotin stage so pairing of the homologous chromosome so this homologous chromosomes are there which are the pair so one is a paternal other is a maternal so this way the synapsis is taking place it means there is a pairing okay so bivalents are there or we can say they are the tetrads next to this we'll see next to this here the third stage is there the third stage of the prophase 1 so this is of what this is of the pachytin so same photograph will be there you have to identify so how will write here you will write here it is a pachytin stage of the meiosis 1 of prophase 1 okay so what we observe in this pachytin stage here the nucleolus is a present nuclear membrane is also present okay in this stage what we observe the crossing over so this way the crossing over is taking place between the two what are the chromosomes okay so this what are the crossing over is there is between the non sister chromatids of the bivalent so this one bivalent this another bivalent in which we observe that there is a crossing over is taking place so here is a crossing over is a taking place so this is a speciality about the pachytin where the exchange of the genetic material is a taking place okay same way here what we observe that the one particular the spot is there so that is called as a chiasmata formation so chiasmata formation also we observe in this next fourth stage is there that is about the diploting so this diploting stage is there so suppose this photograph will be there in the exam time what you write here it is a diploting stage of the prophase 1 of meiosis 1 So in this diploting stage, what we observe is homologous chromosomes which are start repelling from each other. They are going away from one another. So here, this homologous chromosome, this one, they are repelling from one another. So this is about what about the diploting. But they remain attached at the chiasmata. So this remain they attach at the chiasmata. What is the here the place is there? Next to this, we will see about the 
Next to this here, the next stage is there that is about the dikinesis. So here, here is the end of the proof phase one. So suppose this photograph will be there in the exam time. What we we'll write here, it is a dikinesis stage of the proof phase one of meiosis one. What we observe in this, the nucleus as well as nuclear membrane is there, which starts disappearing. Okay, which disorganize and which start disappearing. Same way, the shifting of the chiasmata matter toward the end of the chromatid takes place. So we can say the terminalization of the this chiasmata matter takes place. So this is about what about the dikinesis, which is a end of this prophase one of meiosis one. Next, we'll see about the metaphase one. So here, this is about the meiosis one, metaphase one of meiosis one. What we observe in this here, what are the chromosomes are there? The pair of the chromosomes, which are called as a bivalent, which are arranged in the plane. They are arranged at this equator. At the same time, the spindle fiber formation, which is taking place. So these all spindle fibers are there, and these all bivalents are there. Pair of the chromosomes are there. So here, one paternal, one maternal. So here, pair they all are arranged at the equator. So this is about what about the metaphase one. Next, this is about what about the anaphase one of the meiosis one. What we observe in this here, the spindle fibers which are start condensing. These spindle fibers which start condensing. So what happen here? So it becomes a shorter, and they pull all the chromosomes are there which are to the opposite pole. Okay, so half chromosomes are there which are shifting to this pole, half chromosomes are there which are shifting to this pole. So separation and the dragging of the recombinant homologous chromosomes towards the opposite pole is taking place in this. So this is about what about the anaphase one of the the meiosis one. Next we will see about this is about the telophase one. So here suppose this photograph is there in the exam time. What we will write here? It is a telophase one of meiosis one. What we observe in this, the chromosomes which are reaching uh, reaching to the opposite pole. So this way so here the chromosomes are there and here is chromosomes are there. So these are in the two opposite poles are there. Nucleus which get re reorganized and then reappears. So nucleus is there which is a uh, reorganized which reappears same way the nuclear membrane also reappears here. Okay. So and uh, in between what we observe there is one particular plate is get formed. Okay. So this is what during the cytokinesis one. So cytoplasm is there that is also divided, and here by the, this middle cell plate is there, which go on continuously growing, and they attach to the opposite wall here. Okay, so this way we get the two separate cells are there with two separate nuclei with equal quantity of the cytoplasm in both. So this is what this is the end of the meiosis one. Now we will see about the meiosis two. In the meiosis two also it is the same. We show the karyokinesis two and the cytokinesis two. Karyokinesis two means division of the nucleus again. Now here the this nucleus are also get divided and same way cytoplasm also get divided. Okay. So suppose this photograph is there in the exam time. What we write here? It is a prophase two of meiosis two. It is a prophase two of meiosis two. And how we'll comment on this? So here this is the chromosomes are which become a prominent and the shorter and the thicker. So in this chromosomes are which are prominent, shorter and the thicker. Same way the nucleus, nucleus as well as the nuclear membrane which get disappears. So this nucleus and nuclear membrane which start disappearing afterward. Okay. So this is about what about the prophase two. Next is that this is about what. So suppose this photograph will be there in the exam time. What we we'll write here? It is a metaphase two of meiosis two. What we observe in this? So all what are the chromosomes are there? So which are arranged at the equator. Okay. So they are equatorial plane. Imaginary line which is get developed forming the equatorial plane. And this is what this is a right angle to the previous division. This one is a right angle to the previous division. Now these chromosomes which are get arranged at the equatorial plane in a such a way that the centromere which is a lie on the plane of the arm towards the pole. So this centromere which is toward the pole, this centromere toward the pole, this centromere toward the pole. So like this way here, centromere is there which is towards the pole. Spindle formation which is taking place here same way like the previous one. Next here. Suppose this photograph will be there in the exam time. What we we'll write here? It is a anaphase two of meiosis two. In this, what we observe here, the centromere which divides and sister chromatids are get separated, which are now called as a daughter chromosome. So this all what are the sister chromatids which are shifted this side, this side, this side. Okay. So this all what are the daughter chromosomes are there, which are now it is called daughter chromosomes. 
spindle fibers are there which are the start condensing and become a shorter and that's why they pulling this or what are the dotochromosomes to the opposite pole so here like that these dotochromosomes and these two dotochromosomes which are going to the opposite pole okay so this is about what about the anaphase 2 now this is about the the telophase 2 suppose this photograph is there in the exam time what we write here it is a telophase 2 of the meiosis 2 in that what we observe here the dotochromosomes get collected at the opposite pole okay so here the dotochromosomes which are the opposite pole they are going and they get what we get the reappearance of the nucleus as well as the nuclear membrane so nucleus as well as nuclear membrane which get reappears and that's why here we get the two daughter nuclei here also and here also two daughter nuclei so like that here we get the four daughter nuclei are there which are formed at the end of this what the meiosis 2 what we can say at the end of the karyokinesis 2 at the same time here cytoplasm also get divide so here the middle cell plate is get formed and this way we get the four daughter cells from the single diploid cell so here we get the four daughter haploid cells at the end of the meiosis 2 from the diploid cell okay so this way the what the meiosis the comes to end now we'll see about what to write for the answers of the question so here on this page here in this box we will we have to draw the diagram of leptotin, zygotin, pachytin and the diplotin. Okay. On the next page here, in next box you have to write, draw the diagram of the dikinensis, metaphase 1, the nanaphase 1 and the telophase 1 as well as the cytokinensis. Next box here, prophase 2, metaphase 2, anaphase 2, telophase 2 and the cytokinensis. Now we will see the answers of the questions. Differentiate between mitosis and meiosis. This already you learned in the 11th standard. So mitosis is the equational division occurs in the somatic cells, while the meiosis is a reduction division that occurs in the germinal cell or in the reproductive cells. Anaphase 1 and anaphase 2. Anaphase 1 shows the separation of the homologous chromosomes, while anaphase 2 shows the separation of the sister chromatid. Just remember here, here the sister chromatids are get separated. Metaphase 2 and the meiotic metaphase means about the mitosis. Metaphase 1, metaphase 1, this is about what? About the meiosis. And about the mitotic metaphase, that is about the mitosis. So, in metaphase 1, chromosomes pair are arranged along the equatorial plate. While in metaphase of mitosis, the chromosomes are arranged along the equatorial plane. What I said here, in metaphase 1, Chromosome pair are arranged along the equatorial plate. So here pair is there. While in the metaphase of mitosis, chromosome are arranged along the equatorial plate. Okay, so this you remember. Next, zygotin and pachetin. Zygotin involves pairing of the homologous chromosomes. While the pachetin involves a crossing over between the non-sister chromatids of the homologous chromosomes. So we can say that here the crossing over takes place in the pachetin not in the zygotin. Write the significance of meiosis. What significances are there about the meiosis? Meiotic division produces gametes or the spores. In it maintains the constant number of the chromosomes in the sexually reproducing organisms. It produces genetic variations which are raw material for the evolution. Next, why should meiosis to occur? when a reduction in the chromosome number has already occurred in meiosis 1. So here the chromosomes are duplicated during S phase of meiosis, during the synthetic phase of meiosis due to the DNA replication during meiosis 1. During meiosis 1 here, already here the S phase is there, S phase of the meiosis where the DNA replicates. The homologous chromosomes segregate reducing the chromosome numbers to half while in the meiosis 2 which takes place to separate the sister chromatide of chromosomes okay so that's why here what is crossing over crossing over is an exchange of the genetic material between the non-sister chromatides of the homologous chromosomes which result in the new genetic combination in the daughter cells so this already we are observed in the diagram only is the different stages of prophase 1. So what different stages are there? Prophase 1 is subdivided into 5 sub stages which are that 
leptotin, zygotin, pachytin, diplotin and dikinesis. Okay, so this way you can write the answers of this question which are asked in this particular practical. Okay, so if you like my channel, subscribe and share with your friends. Okay, and watch the next video for the next practical. Thank you.